So, here's my first Christmas present design. Uh, it essentially comes in two parts. We've got uh, the base itself, which has uh, got these three LED panels in there, six in each. Uh, they're multicoloured LED, and they're all individually addressable, so I can run quite complex patterns through there. Uh, 3D printed base, and a USB port. Mm, interesting. Uh, there's also a button on the bottom of it here for changing the mode. Um, and what this contains, this contains one of these little dudes here. This is an Arduino Nano. Um, basically, this little dude here has got um, a wrist processor in it, much like in your mobile phone. U USB port to give it power, and you can program it with that as a reset button. You can't really see them, but there's four LEDs just at this end. Um, and that's pretty handy. It's, mm, I think it's got 32 kilobytes of memory on it. Uh, so it's quite a it's quite a powerful little computer really for its size. Anyway, there's one of those in here, which is why that port's there. And you can program that from your PC, or you can supply power through this port here. Uh, it's a little bit of clean. Oh no, that's some glue. Uh, anyway, and the second part is this, which is a puzzle I've designed. Um, it's pretty complicated. Um, like for instance, that's the key piece there. Uh, so that'd be the first piece, and if I move that to is it about here, then I can slide out this white piece, and then it all starts coming into pieces by itself. Uh, something a bit special about that one of the, the last key piece, it's got a magnet inside of it. Here's another one that I well, it kind of went a bit wrong at the end here in the print. Anyway, so you've got that, and you plug this into your PC like that, and then. You have to get the magnet on the right side, but at some point, there we go. Right, so I'm going to take this out now. But you can see this thing lights up by itself. If I hold this one by the side, then you can see the effects. Uh, so there's 20 effects I've programmed in here, which you can select using the button on the bottom. And um, because you've got the USB port on there, um, if you're into it, you could actually reprogram this and do your own light shows with it. So it's got all of the electronics for uh, safety electronics for keeping the LEDs nice and happy. Um, so you've got a pre built sort of experimenting LED kit with quite a nice effect because any, any square object will go in bes between these. So if you've got sort of a glass cube or something, well, a strange thing you might have in your house, uh, you can put it on there. So if we press the button, it should start changing to different patterns. There we go, nasty strobe. Uh, and sort of random red lights coming on, twinkles like that. And it goes on and on. Some of them, are, it's kind of hard to tell with the mobile phone camera um, because they tend to move quite fast, but as you can see, they do go in sequences. Some of them around, there you go, following the pattern of the inserts. Uh, yeah, so there's like 20 patterns on here. And they're not all kind of that flashy, some of them are quite sort of laid back. Uh, colour changes, that's quite mellow. There is one with a rainbow as well, which just slowly fades the colours around in a circle. If I can get to it, not that one. There you go, so that just slowly moves different colours of the rainbow around. Uh, so that's it, yeah, this is, uh, I'm going to probably print off, uh, I think, five of these. So I've got a whole bunch of those little dudes. There is actually an even better little computer dude. I've got one here. This is called the ESP8266. You might notice over here it's got this little strip here. This is actually an aerial. This chap here is a Wi-Fi module, so you can actually hook it up to your Wi-Fi or it'll even turn on its own Wi-Fi hotspot, so you can connect up directly to it with your mobile phone and control it with your mobile phone. Uh, it's got Bluetooth as well, and this has got like 16 meg of memory, so you can have pretty big programmers on this thing. Um, for the light show uh, doohickey, I'm prob uh, what am I using? I'm only using four input-output lines. Uh, and it's got eight, and you can divide those as well to get even more out. So you can do some pretty crazy things with those, and this chap here really isn't pushing it very far at all. But it's kind of fun. Um, and hopefully even if people can't do the puzzle, which I think will take most people a few days to work out, 
they can have the benefit of a nice little display, light kind of thing. So, yeah, Christmas present number one. Hope you like it. <laughs>